Thank you, Councilwoman Krause. Uh, now for the mayor's report. First, I want to start off. I know that there are probably several people in the audience that maybe are here in support of your Second Amendment rights and your right to carry arms. Um, I am not too proud to admit when I am wrong, and I will not listen to emails without investigating myself in the future. Uh, in a work session, maybe our last council meeting, I asked for some information from a city attorney from our city attorney after um, I received an email from a fel fellow mayor. Our city attorney has done his duty and has informed me that the city has no standing and cannot enforce any regulations. And at this point in time, I have no intent of taking that any further. Um, I am proud to be an American and the fact that there was such an outpouring of people trying to protect their Second Amendment rights. As an attorney, and sometimes a criminal defense attorney, I see our constitutional rights uh, trickled at, they are trickled away on a daily basis. And so I just wish that more people would take a stand in protecting all of our constitutional rights. And so I thank all of you for being here today and, and uh, in support of your Second Amendment rights and want to assure you, at least from, from my point in this, in this uh, bench, uh, that there are no proposed gun bans here in the city of Snellville and there will be no proposed gun bans in the city park. Um, I also uh, would like, my heart obviously goes out to Amy uh, and her family, and I would like to thank them for taking the time to be here tonight. Uh, I know that her father, remarkable, Amy was in surgery, and he was, it, he was at the town green for Amy's weekend, uh, and they just are a remarkable family. I know that the Harlem Globetrotters have contacted me. They would like to put together a fundraiser game with uh, Amy's family against them, and we're working with uh, Clay Hunter to possibly do that at South Gwinnett High School in the fall. So, so look for more things to come. It is heartening to see the city come together when um, when one of our own is hurting. And Councilman, or excuse me, Mayor Pro Tem Witt said that he believes in the city. Um, I believe in this city as well. I believe that we have the best citizens in this city, and we have the best staff. Um, I love being mayor. I can't explain to you on a daily basis the calls and requests I get and the amount of people I get to help and how good that makes me feel. I truly believe that we have one of the greatest cities in the state of Georgia. What I don't believe in is this council. People ask me all the time, what's it like to be mayor? It's wonderful when I don't have a council meeting, but when we have a council meeting, it is horrible. You've seen great things that we can do together, but this council has gotten out of control, and I think that was witnessed by what happened last Friday. We have, anytime we try to do what is good by, for the good of the city, by trying to move forward with a budget we can all agree with, Somebody has to take it a step further and blog on, their inter on the internet on their blogs or post something on their Facebook page, and that's not helping any of us. We have council that staff is writing statements that they feel threatened by members of council. We have council that's trying to uh, fight over who's going to accept awards or who's going to take the stage at city events. It is, we are all acting like children, and it's time that we all grow up and we put our differences aside and we do what's right for this city. Uh, And so I want to ask each of you that are here tonight to hold our feet to that fire and to make sure that we do this. Uh, so many people out there in the public don't know what's going on. They don't know the things that are happening uh, behind the scenes and even here in our council meetings. Uh, so I'm asking all of you that are present tonight to make sure that you hold each of us accountable for our actions, uh, both on the bench and off the bench. Um, I would like to thank everyone that came out for the Star Spangled Weekend. It was a fabulous event. Thank you to all the men and women who serve our country. Uh, I know that STAT gets recognized a lot, uh, but there's three ladies. I believe they still all three are here tonight. Uh, Gail Deal, Trisha Rollins, and Susan Culpepper. Uh, they are at every event uh, all day long. It was 100 and some degrees out there. At least it felt like it. And they were there all day working hard and sweating and without... Uh, stat and this council does a lot, but without volunteers like these ladies, uh, we would not be possible to have these events. So thank you, ladies, for your service. 
um, and for everything that you do, not just with the Star Spangled Banner, but with Amy's Weekend and everything else. Thank you. With that, I will take public comment, and then we will have an executive session. So if you have anything to say, please state your